Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the new Xiaomi's uh, Wi-Fi range extender. Uh, Xiaomi has some really nice extenders. They started with the Xiaomi range extender uh, USB stick version, then they had the Pro version, but uh, none of them had until now 5 GHz wireless band. So they were kind of slow uh, because they were using only the 2.4 band but uh, they were very good they had very good signal and they work at very large uh, distances so they were doing the job properly and they had a very useful function which is called uh, wireless roaming and that makes it similar with the mesh technology so you don't have to change ssids or anything else you are only going to see just one single wireless network in your home or in your area and the phone and or other device will just switch to the highest uh, signal level available and it will jump from the wireless router to the repeater and switch between them seamlessly so that was very nice so today we are going to take a look at the new variant this can be bought as a two set package uh, if you buy them this way they are going to be slightly cheaper per piece so that's uh, an idea to uh, check out so let's see what we get in the box this is what you get in the box you can see this repeater is now larger than the old pro model uh, and has two leds there and uh, button here and now it also has access point function so you can connect your cable uh, connection here and turn this into an access point and make wireless from it so that's really nice in the box you are not going to get anything else just some manuals and that's it and they indicate you that if you want to set this up you have several ways this should be compatible with any kind of router you can see here any uh, you can use that any function even without the Mi Home app just by using the uh, wireless protective startup system you can push this button here you can push that button on your router and be done with that so you have set it up and it will actually kind of be configured automatically but if you want to have more control over it you need to use the good old uh, Mi Home app and you need to install it here but there's a catch and that one is the following if you are going to put this on the plug uh, this one is already configured I'm going to show you with the other one also uh, you are not going to be able to find it here and here comes the thing you might know that Xiaomi uses several servers around the world and splits its uh, hardware into categories it has global version of products that work all over the world and it has China version so the China version products only work with the Xiaomi mainland server so you need to select that into the app because I'm working with Xiaomi products for a very long time when I started reviewing and testing them uh, most of them were on China server so my app and all smart home and everything it's set up in mainland China I don't use actually I'm not using Europe uh, or global products from Xiaomi because I don't want to change the server on the app for those products so I always buy my stuff from China and I try to find out first that if they are global or China or Europe products because now you also get products that only work in Europe so they are not fully global and they will not work in China so it's not global it's Europe anyway so this is not going to install in your uh, China mainland server you actually need to change the server so you need to change for Europe and if I go here to do that you need to go to your profile and then go to settings and from settings you need to go to region and you can see here China mainland then I'm going to select here and I'm going to switch to something like uh, Germany and I'm going to click on save touch save and then it's going to give you this warning that the server does not match and you are going to lose the devices and blah 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 so on so okay 
And now I'm going to sign in. And there you go. That's my device here. My single device that it's not working on China mainland. But that's how it is. Actually for this device I'm not very mad because uh, I don't need this in my smart home environment as I will not control it every day. I just plug this into the outlet, configure it and let it run. If it freezes, uh, you are not going to do anything else. Just unplug it, plug it again and it will uh, work. If that ever happens, we are not going to know that because these are rather new and probably they work just fine. My Pro model works for maybe one year and I have never reset it. Uh, it only reset it itself only on uh, several power outages and that was it. So going on this device, let's go on. As you can see here, the menu is rather different from the old uh, uh, Pro model. Uh, you have two connections here. You have the 2.4 and 5 GHz connection. You can enable disable the indicator. You have the access point mode. And uh, there's also this very interesting uh, smart link capability. This will uh, be able to add a backup connection. So if you have two wireless routers with two connections, this uh, device will be able to switch between those uh, two connections. So it will improve uh, your uh, connection stability if uh, something uh, goes off. So it's kind of a failover system. And you can select here the other router. In the more advanced settings, here you have uh, option to change the device name, you can manage the location in Mi Home, share the device, you can do firmware update, but it's running the latest. And you have some additional settings, such as uh, checking the plugin version of your Mi Home app, security settings for uh, putting a password on to log in here, so it will not be able to change the settings by someone else. You get network info, which is uh, rather useful. Then you can do a sh shortcut to your home. And that's it, as you can see, it's actually missing something. And that's the wireless roaming option that was available on all these kind of devices and was very useful. So I thought, why, why did you do this? Well, actually it's kind of a thing that is not missed here because you can go here on wireless settings and you can do your manual roaming and that's done by actually uh, having the option to rename your SSID so you get when this is started you get an extra wireless network that has an underscore plus to your wireless SSID name so you can simply go there uh, this one was actually like this this was how Xiaomi did it first. So that was the SSID for my uh, second amplified uh, 5G network. So if I want roaming, wireless roaming, let's call it wireless roaming, not mesh, uh, indoor or outdoor or everywhere else, uh, and I don't want to change the network, and I want that my devices will not ask me to connect to another network, just to stay on the same network so I don't have to change the name and the password. This is especially useful when you have a lot of uh, smart devices indoor. Uh, you don't want to reset them all just to connect to uh, another network. Then you are just simply going to rename the network here. Leave it like your original SSID of your network. And this way uh, for you it's going to be just one single network. All your devices are going to see just one SSID, not two uh, SSIDs with the same name. So it's working like roaming. And the devices, after some time, they will decide that they will connect to the stronger signal. So if you have a device that has very weak signal far away from your router, that device will just disconnect from the weak connection after some time and we'll connect to the strong connection and we'll remain connected there stably and will work just fine. And also let's do a quick test. So I'm going to remove this from the socket here. So it's off. So let's do a test now. So this is off uh, and I'm going to select my 5G network here.
So I have the fastest uh, speed available. And I'm going to go on uh, speedtest.net to check my speed. And there you go. So this is actually my phone's uh, wireless speed as I have one gigabit uh, download so it's limited to what my phone can do and that's almost 50 megabytes per uh, second uh, pretty decent and now I'm going to insert this it's going to connect to this and I'm going to show you how you can actually see that I'm going to go here in uh, more settings for the wireless I'm going to let this power on this is actually booting or uh, failed if this starts to blink there's a problem but when it's red and steady it means that it's uh, booting the system and you are going to let it do that you are going to wait for it it takes a bit of time and now the system is okay and then we need to wait for this to turn on the signal if this blinks it's not connected if this gets steady blue it means that it's uh, fully working and connected so it, now it has established connection and it's uh, doing its uh, extender job so now this is functional and you can right away see here that my wireless here has a small extra me symbol that means that my phone automatically has switched to this because it has more strength because it's normal this is close to my phone and farther from the router and i haven't changed any kind of settings it just kept being connected but it shows that it's connected to this one now and we are going to repeat the test for the speed and see if there is a drop in speed so that's the old speed now I'm testing again And you can see I'm actually getting a bit more speed than I was previously getting because now I have a stronger and more stable signal. But again, I'm limited by the phone wireless. So actually for me as, uh, let's say, it an end user, now I'm getting better connection speed uh, on the same phone through a repeater. So this is not going to lose you any speed. Of course, if you have something like uh, a wireless uh, gigabit, then uh, it's going to slow you down. At this has uh, 867 megabytes on the 5G band plus another additional 300 on the 2.4 band, uh, but it's a dual AC 1200. So yet again, you get no decrease in speed using this for normal devices if you want to go very fast then use a cable or use something else but this will not uh, make your devices slow especially now that you have 5g uh, and you are not only limited to the 2.4 regular band that was available until now on the xiaomi devices and after you did your setup and renamed your wireless, uh, for now I haven't uh, renamed my 2.4, but it doesn't matter. It just was uh, just a test, so you can see that on the 5G band. Uh, then you can go back to your home uh, app, Mi Home app, go to your profile, and you haven't lost anything. You are going to go on settings, go again to the region, and then select your preferred area. I'm going to go back to China, China mainland, save. The same warning, you are going to wait for that, you are going to sign in back. Be sure that you remember the password or you are uh, able to reset it if you no longer know it. And it will take a bit of time to refresh all that data, all that uh, devices. And if I go back now here, it will take some time to load the plugins back again. And after a few minutes actually, I'm back at all the devices here and... I can see all my stuff, it's there, it's working, it's configured, I haven't lost anything, but I'm not seeing this, I can see my other repeater which is working uh, perfectly, and you can see here the wireless roaming function that I was telling you about, 
but this one doesn't have any kind of other settings you can just enable disable wireless roaming so that's it otherwise you are going to get an extra ssid uh, so no roaming but yet roaming works as you have seen it boosts the performance a lot of your network uh, but now i don't have anything else to configure if i want to change some settings i can switch the server again do my settings and then return so it's not a big con so that was it for now i hope that uh, you have enjoyed uh, this uh, video uh, let me know if you have any kind of questions if you want to see the whole setup the whole setup is very simple you just switch to something uh, a working server you are just going to uh, press here the add button and you are going to put add a device here and it will just detect it right away uh, it's almost instantly you just need to enable location on your phone and bluetooth and be connected to your local wireless network and the device will pop on here just uh, click on it and then it will ask you your wireless password so the device the phone will transmit the wireless setting to the repeater the repeater will then disconnect from your phone and will connect to your wireless and that's it you are going to get a timer here to wait and that's the whole setup it's nothing complicated but if you want to see that i'm going to do it in another video also the wireless protected startup it's super easy you just press the button here press it on the router and we're done with it you are going to get the extra extended uh, range with extra wireless networks extra ssids but you need the app if you want to configure that manual roaming i was telling you about so until my next video see you and bye bye